Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. My next guest is Dr. Regine Maradian. She is here to tell us May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we're going to talk with her. Dr. Maradian, welcome. Thank you for having me. We often hear about the financial damage that death caused. I'm sorry, debt, D-E-B-T, causes, but no one talks about the mental health implications, and you're going to put that together for us during Mental Health Month. Could you talk about that? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, just in general, being in debt is very overwhelming, and people feel as if they've lost control over their life. Um, There's a survey done by National Debt Relief uh, that found that 69% of respondents said being in debt has made them withdraw from the things they love, and about 70% feel like a black cloud hanging over them when they're in debt. So certainly this loss of control triggers a fear of the unknown and embarrassment. And this heavy burden of debt can also make a person feel very trapped and isolated from others. So I don't know if you've ever been in debt. I've been in debt. Let me tell you, it's not a pretty place to be. What actions can people take to support their mental health while struggling through debt? Because... And the reason why I mentioned my own personal debt, you know, you got those collectors calling you saying all these weird things. You already know how terrible you feel. So tell me about the intersection between my mental health and my debt health. Yes. So you bring up an important point, which is all about control. So when you can, you have to first establish a plan to gain control back in your life. And that's where resources like National Debt Relief can help. Uh, They are the leading debt relief organization that has helped over 450,000 people settle their debt uh, while empowering them at the same time to lead a healthier financial lifestyle. Um, So what's wonderful is their team will work with people uh, in general to guide them on the path to becoming debt-free and support them in developing a plan to financial independence. Now, once that plan is established, Their team will negotiate with creditors to lower the total amount owed. And this type of support alone uh, really gives you back control over your life. It helps you breathe again. um, And it really helps your financial and mental health altogether because it empowers you to feel free and to live again. Why is having self-care important during these challenging times? Well, practicing self-care just in general is really important no matter what challenge you're facing. Um, And that's key to daily good mental health. So a few self-care tips that I really love are practicing one activity that you want to do every day. And that could be anywhere from exercising to reading a book you like to talking to a friend you uh, trust. Also practicing shifting your mindset from a negative thought to a positive one. We get so stuck into the negative um, and shifting your mind to saying, well, if I'm in debt, I have a plan to get out of debt. Uh, Also creating a self-care emergency kit where you can have your favorite things in there uh, on disposal, anywhere from a notepad with a pen, uh, a list of movies that you like, a stress ball, whatever it is that makes you feel good. I want my audience to know that Dr. Regine Maradian is a licensed clinical psychologist, children's author, speaker, consultant, and a mental health advocate who is in clinical practice. Dr. Maradian, what are some of the ways uh, uh, we can help support our family members and our friends that we know that are having this debt crisis? Well, I always encourage uh, people to have, and this is a hard thing, right, but to really practice open communication to avoid feelings of isolation. So whether it's with your partner, your spouse, your family, your friends, uh, because when we stay silent with a lot of issues or things that are uh, bothering us, they tend to build up internally and cause more stressors. Um, And that can really impact your relationships and your social life. Uh, secondly, when debt feels so insurmountable and you really don't know where to start and you feel so alone, 
turn to professionals. Uh, and that's where I think of National Debt Relief as an encouraging coach because they empower people to really take control of their finances and establish sustainable habits that really help you stay out of debt. Online, those who've, who've been listening and are those who are going to tell their friends about this, where can they go and find more information? So they can visit nationaldebtrelief.com or call 1-800-927-6955 for a free consultation. Dr. Marathi, and I thank you so much for this segment. It will mean a lot to a lot of people, and it may change some lives. Have a great day. You too. Thank you for having me. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.